So you have found your favorite knives and you use them on a regular basis. You are gaining comfort and speed. Great, but don't go too fast yet. One thing that you should never forget, no matter how much experience you have, when improperly used, a knife can be dangerous and cause serious injury to you and others around you. I urge you to follow my safety tips to get the most out of your knives whilst avoiding unnecessary trips to casualty. Always use a sharp knife. A sharp knife is safer than a dull one. Here I have two sharp knives and you can evaluate their sharpness by simply pass your finger on the edge of the knife. And this one you will feel the differences. So this one is much dull and this one is very sharp. If I'm using a dull knife to cut this potato for instance, the knife may rip and you may hurt yourself. Now if I'm using the same knife but with a sharp one, if I'm cutting this potato, it just goes through. Here I have a garlic cloth. To peel it, if I use this chef knife, it's really big for the size of the item here. I might hurt myself. So I have to use the right knife and the right size of knife. So here a small paring knife, it's perfect for the job. I can make a cut safely, peel and remove the peel, right? Hold the knife safely. Have a good grip. Don't hold the knife loosely. Okay, you might hurt yourself otherwise. So have a good grip. And the knife, when you hold it firmly, should be an extension of your hand. Then you can slice vegetables easily and always cut away from yourself. Do not cut towards yourself. Okay, that's very important. We always chop away from ourselves and we trim always. Now, when you're done, always place the knife blade side away from yourself. Because if you put the knife like this and you want to pick up vegetables, you may hurt yourself rather than if it's like that, then it's safe. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have some rags, but it can be some vegetables, a pile of cut vegetables or some peelings or any other things with certain height. If I put my knife over, the knife might fall and I can get hurt. Also, if I grab it from there, it's not stable, so I might not be able to grab it properly. Also, make sure your knives are on a clear surface and you can see them. Because here, for example, my knife is hidden by the rag and if I grab it, I may forget about it and hurt myself. So always place your knife blade away from you on a clear surface. Do not reach for your knife blindly. Pay attention. Grab your knife by the handle. So here the knife is not set properly and only for this demo it is like that. So hold the knife or grab it only by the handle. I won't go by the blade, okay? You won't take the knife like this. Always by the handle. Be safe. When handing a knife to another person, don't just pass the knife like so. Pass the knife by pointing the handle toward them. It will be safe for them to grab it. If you need to walk around in your kitchen or at home holding a knife, don't. Or do it safely. Make sure you point the knife down. Not like this, okay? This is dangerous. Also, you don't want to go walk around and say, oh, I'm sorry, did I stab you? No, you cannot do that. Okay, so always point the knife blade side down, put your hand in front of you if there is other people in the kitchen, announce yourself and make sure you walk the blade side down. A knife, remember, is a dangerous tool. I'm wearing glasses for the next demo. There is something that shocks me all the time. When I teach people how to cook, um, Sometimes people wear glasses and that's fine. So they are busy chopping, cooking and so on. And suddenly they need to adjust their glasses on their nose, right? So they will do this there. And they will do what they have to do and go back, okay? 
this is very dangerous. I mean, while you will send your knife towards your brain or eyes, okay? So put the blade down or the knife down, blade side away from you, adjust your glasses and carry on. Carefully store your knife. Here I'm using a knife case. You may use a knife protector too, or a knife block. There is several options, it could be in plastic or in wood, doesn't matter. But what is really important is you make sure that you keep them away from curious children.